Okay, so in this next video, I want to uh, actually create a bucket using my code. So I will create a new file and I will name this. Uh, let's see, I guess we can name it create bucket. So prefix it with a number create bucket s3.pile. Here we go. All right, so we won't need the OS to, um, library this time or module this time, so we'll just use photo3 or bottle3, however you're pronouncing it. Uh, we'll go ahead and instantiate our connection, our client. So client connection. And so we'll say client equals bottle3.client s3. And remember, you can copy your code from like previous files, so you don't have to be typing it every time. But typing it does kind of get you, um, you know, used to like coding basically, and then just kind of makes that more of a visceral connection with your brain, right? So, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and set the bucket name. Set the new bucket name that we want to create. So we'll say bucket is equal to. You know what? I'm just gonna pretty much give the same naming convention here. Oops. And uh, but maybe just change it like to like five thousand or something. Cool. Uh, and now we're going to create a new bucket, right? Uh, and this is just the command to create a new bucket. So we'll say client dot create bucket. And the parameter that, or yeah, the parameter that we pass through is just the bucket with an uppercase B and uh, that's it. So that command will actually create a bucket in your console. So when you go through all, to all your buckets here and you execute that command, what you should expect is to see S3 OSK bucket 5000 or whichever name you gave it uh, listed right here. Um, let's go ahead and just maybe take some of the code that we had before. Um, in order to retrieve the metadata and then display it on screen once we're done with that. Cool, and now we have, uh, yeah, all the code that we need. So let's run the third file, so python 03, create bucket, s3, hit enter. Voila, here we go, a list of all our buckets with the new or latest bucket name being the 5001. And if I go to my console, and actually refresh this, I'll see that this bucket is here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.